All right, Cheryl Crow, Soak Up the Sun. You know what? I love this song. I totally love it. It's a very happy song. It makes you feel good. Um, Cheryl Crow is awesome. My microphone is turned on, <laughs> which I'm very happy about. Um, and it's a really cool bass line. I actually got this version from uh, a live <coughs> performance that she did where she, um, she played bass on it. Um, and this is pretty much what she played. So, um, and it's pretty cool. So I like it. I'm going to teach it to you and you're going to play it. Anyway, I am Finbar of Finbar Bass. Please click on those bass tutorials I have right down there in the YouTube text box. Um, they're free. They're not on YouTube. So you can only get them by clicking on that. And um, what's cool about them, I think, and the whole idea behind all this is we're practicing the bass, right? We're learning all kinds of techniques. You're learning um, bass tone. You're lear learning ham rods, pull-offs. You're getting your chops up to speed, right? But we're doing it in such a way that's not just rote repetition, right? You're actually learning it through doing something that you love through music. And that's, that's fun. You know, you're actually basically having fun, but you're practicing at the same time. And you almost don't even know that you're learning something, but you are. You're getting better on the bass, and you're getting more up to speed. You're getting your chops, and you're learning all kinds of techniques and cool stuff on the bass. So click on those tutorials, and I think they'll really help you out. So it uh, sounds like in the um, intro and the first couple stanzas, there's actually no bass in this song. Uh, and it doesn't really come into the first chorus, which is pretty cool, because that you know gives you a sense of movement and progression through the song. So in the uh, chorus, that's what I played in the intro. It's uh, this part here. Right, so what you're gonna do there is you're harping on that seventh fret of the A string right here. And um, <clears throat> that's the rhythm. Right? Seventh fret of the A string. Then you're gonna do this. So what I'm doing there is I'm hitting the ninth fret of the A string, seventh, and then the ninth, and then the seventh of the E. Right? And then you're on the um, that seventh fret of the um, of the E string, and you're doing the same rhythm you did in the beginning. But you're gonna add that fifth fret of the E. So you got. I'll do it really slow. So those together. Just like that. <clears throat> and then you're going to do this little figure here. Yeah, I'm on the seventh fret of the E, ninth fret, and then the um, seventh fret of the A. You could also play it, you could play it 7th, 9th, 7th if you want to. Either way it'll work. And then it goes into this sweet uh, run here. And uh, sometimes she plays this. Right, so you're on, you're on the 9th fret of the A, the 11th, and then the 12th, the octave. And then you got the open A. There, right? So you're all over the place. So you got two open A's, then you're on the second fret. Second fret of the A. So you got the two open A's, two on the second fret, then you're going to go open A and then second fret again. Right? So you got. So it's, right, then you got a uh, second fret of the A, open, second fret. Just like that. And then you have, then you're going to do this one, open, second, and then slide back into it, right? So you got... slide right back into it. That's the chorus again. Just like that. On the last part of the chorus, you're going to um, 
you're gonna do the open A, second fret of the A, slide, just like normal, but then you're gonna be in this part. So it's gonna sound like this. And this part here, I don't ever see uh, her playing that on the bass. So it's, uh, I just throw that in that's what the guitar is doing but you could just do it. or throw it in if you want now this little uh, bridge section is interesting um, where she sings every time I turn around I'm looking up um, <clears throat> what you could do here is there's a couple different ways you could you could go about this <clears throat> you can start on that uh, 14th fret right of the D string and you're playing two kind of staccato notes there uh, on the 14th and then on the 16th so you got and then two notes that run together again on the 16th and then you alternate 14 16 14 so that whole thing right there all right i'll do it again Okay, then you got so you're starting on the 14th then you hit the 16th the 17th and then the 19th and then sometimes 17th and the 19th again all right Cheryl Crow soak up the Sun thank you all so much for listening um, I am Finbar of Finbar bass once again don't forget to click on the little uh, YouTube text box right down there those videos aren't available on YouTube, so you got to click that box. Other than that, you could always subscribe to Finbar Bass if you want a bunch more of these tutorials. And have fun with that one, yo, as always.